what's up guys, AJC Noob Gamer here, and in this video, I show you the VC glitch in NBA 2K19 after the latest patch. As you guys know, the latest patch had pushing removed. Oh my goodness, thank God, I haven't been able to play 2K in ages because of it. But besides pushing going away, there's new techniques to how to do the VC glitch properly, guys, because they did try to patch it as much as they can. So in this video, I'll show you how to do the endorsement glitch on PS4 and on Xbox, guys. So I'm going to show you on both consoles because I've been getting a lot of comments saying that, you know, how do you do it on Xbox? So I'm going to show you how to do it on Xbox as well as on PS4. But before we get into today's video, guys, if you're a new gamer like me and you love NBA 2K19, this is a channel for you. I release daily tips and tricks and just entertaining videos in general. So in the world, you can subscribe to the channel, hit the red button down below, leave a like rating on this video, and turn on that bell for notifications. So when I upload, you get notified straight away. And last thing, guys, don't forget to follow me on Twitch, where I'll be streaming very, very soon. And make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And make sure you DM me if you have any questions or anything like that, or you just want to say what's up. But besides that, guys, let's get straight to today's video. All right, guys, so we ain't gonna waste any more time. We're gonna get straight into this glitch. Sorry about my voice, guys. I am a bit sick, but I'll get through it. Okay, so guys, you've been having a lot of problems getting subbed in, and I feel like that's what's the biggest problem um, when it comes to getting this glitch like correctly, whether it's on Xbox or PS4. So this is the method on how to get like 99% of the time get subbed in into the first game, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna make your vitals, whatever like that. Make sure you make yourself a point guard, okay? You're gonna make yourself a point guard. You're gonna make yourself primary driving and finishing and secondary driving and finishing, okay? So you're gonna be a pure slasher, okay? Now, with everything else, you're gonna wanna max out, okay? So your height, you wanna max out at 6'6". Your weight, you wanna max out at like, what, 215? I don't know how, how many pounds it is, but max it out to the heaviest. And then your wingspan, you wanna make it the longest, okay? So 215, yep, and then you wanna uh, max out your wingspan as long as you can, okay? So this will most likely get you subbed in into the first three games, okay? Like I said, guys, you will get like if you don't get something in the first three games just restart and try again but i'm telling you most likely guys i've always done like this same method and yeah it still works i still get something into the first game okay so you're gonna end the free agency and what you're gonna do is you're gonna want to go to the cleveland cavaliers okay do not choose phoenix suns guys that's what the old method was we we're going to the cleveland cavaliers okay um now you may have seen something similar to this on my last video but this is a bit different and i'm gonna show you why okay so now what you're gonna do is you're actually gonna make everything zero as normal, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna make the VC very, very low, okay? You're gonna make it at 700, okay? 700 and you're gonna leave it at that. Do not pick any more, do not pick any less. I don't know why the glitch just doesn't work, okay? All right, if you wanna shout out in the next video, all you have to do is comment down below on this video, gold, and turn on that bell for notifications. So do those two things, guys, and you can be in the running to win a shout out in the next video. Now, with past glitches, like I said, guys, you usually have to change the game length and the difficulty and all that, like, stuff. Now, you do not have to do that, okay? Instead, like, do not do that. Leave everything the same. Leave it on pro. Leave it on five minutes. And you just want to get straight into the Toronto game, okay? So, you'll all have the same game. And you're just going to want to get into the Toronto game. And like I said, guys, so as you see my third game with Atlanta, if you do not get subbed in by the Atlanta game, just restart and try again, okay? But I'm telling you, if you do this method where you make your player like that, you will most likely get subbed into the first game like nine times out of 10, guys. I've I've literally done this glitch so many times and I always get subbed into the first game and people are telling me in the comments that, oh, they're not getting subbed in. Not, I, uh, I don't know what's happening, but if that happens, guys, just try it again and restart, okay? Um, but yeah, if that ever did happen, you just, gotta, you just gotta restart. Sometimes that just happens, okay? So you're gonna wanna get into the game. You're not gonna get subbed into the first half, okay? That's just normal. Um, and then you're gonna have to sim and it'll be half time. Then this all like process will happen. So, once you're here, guys, there's really not much else to it. You're going to want to just skim, and then you're going to end up here. So, 44 seconds left. I'm in the game, and what I can do is I can actually sim out with VC, okay? So, I know there was that plus 25 rule, uh, minus 25 rule when it comes to point difference. But when you're in the fourth quarter, it's like a minute, two minutes left, they allow you to sim out with VC, okay? They just do, they just allow you. It doesn't really... It doesn't really matter, you know what I mean, whether the point difference is, okay? So, you probably don't have an interview. I didn't have an interview, so that's fine. But if you did, make sure you call out the fans instead of call out your teammates, okay? So make sure you call out your fans just in case. Now, you're going to want to skip to April 4, okay? Simulate it, all right? So you see me here. I'm simulating all the way to April 4, which is I think is a Sacramento Kings game, I think. But you're just going to let that sim out, okay? Um, you know, take some time out, just like, just chillax, and then just wait until this finishes. Um, now, guys, like I'm saying with this, if you get to this point, right, so some people get to April 4 and they do not have the badge, like, sorry, not the badge, they do not have the endorsement, 
guys just restart okay i that's never happened to me but just in case it does happen to you just restart because sometimes that happens okay so guys you see me here skip uh skip to april 4th now we're gonna go into the endorsements and you're gonna see you're gonna have this question mark thing and you're gonna go national endorsement okay so we're gonna get straight into that all right so once you're here guys um you're just gonna want to wait around all this stuff happens but like i said guys the latest patch actually did make this a bit different so if you are seeing some similar things do not click off just yet okay there is some something different that you have to do but once you're here guys what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna get asked where you want to go gatorade or Foot Locker. make sure you go Foot Locker, okay so point it down make sure you go Foot Locker. Like, yeah, just give it some time for it to highlight Foot Locker because sometimes I accidentally did it too fast and then it went catering. So Foot Locker, only Foot Locker, and that's basically it. So you're going to want to get into your Sacramento Kings game. And like um, I said, guys, uh, this is the thing. If it says there, as you see, it said I averaged 36 points, guys. If that happens, that means you know the glitch is working, okay? That's how you know, okay? So once you go from there, you're going to basically, uh, like, play the game whatever but guys with this game it doesn't matter if you get subbed in or not okay i've gotten subbed in sometimes and sometimes i haven't gotten subbed in but either way the contract will still be there at the end of this sacramento kings game it all, most likely always is okay um but yeah so luckily in this one i did get subbed in that was just i don't know i've, I've never had that before usually they just end the regulation and that's fine but i did and you just go do the same thing ask a sim out of the vc and you'll be sweet from there okay so once you're here like i said guys if this is all similar to you make sure you stay till the end because it is a bit different when it comes to the last few parts okay because i want this vc glitch to working for all of you okay um now once you're here guys you're gonna get your 700 vc whatever um now once you're here you're gonna want to go endorsement and you're gonna see that you're gonna have the Foot Locker contract level one there okay so you're gonna go there and then you're gonna go congrats we agree blah blah blah, blah. And then what's gonna happen is you're gonna make a counter offer, okay? So your counter offer is gonna be 2,500 per event, okay? 2,500 per event. And you're gonna make your incentive zero and your brand bonus zero, okay? Um, now, when it comes to that, guys, they are gonna like keep like counter offering it. They're gonna be like, oh, that may be too high. Can you do this? Blah, 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 blah. Do not get scared, like continue with it. They will always accept 2,500, okay? Always accept. Um, now, once you're there, guys, you're just going to keep asking the counter offer and eventually they'll say yes. And then once I say yes, you're going to be sweet from there. So then you're going to go to the neighborhood. All right. So you're going to head to the neighborhood. And what you're going to notice is when you get into the neighborhood, there's actually going to be, um, what do you call it? There's going to be uh, an endorsement, uh, like an endorsement, but a uh, level two contract. Okay. So you're going to notice that. So we're going to end up here. And then you're going to see, you're going to go endorsements. And then you're going to see that when you click on it, it's just going to be level two contract negotiation. So you're going to get into level two and then you're going to go, um, 2000, you're going to go 5,000, uh, per event and then zero incentives and zero brain bonus. Okay. So max that stuff out to 5,000 because you want to get the most VC, uh, as possible. And then you're going to go zero incentives and then zero brain bonus. Um, and then, yeah, we're going to be sweet from there now once you keep going with that um yeah so once you keep going with that guys that's gonna be fine um and then you're gonna want to get into the golden state warriors game okay so once you get into the golden state warriors game uh there's really not much to it uh i think sometimes you do not get subbed in okay sometimes you don't get subbed in but what you want to do is you want to keep playing until you get subbed in okay or until the endorsement glitches there until the endorsement is there so it's really up to you but usually you have to get subbed in um and that just happens okay so sometimes there's been times where this warriors games i do not get subbed in that's fine i go to the next game and then i don't get subbed in there that's fine i go to the next game okay so once you hit april 4 you got around like three games left if you get into the playoffs and you still haven't been subbed in keep going okay eventually once you get subbed in then it's gonna actually work from there um sometimes you do get subbed in like first quarter and sometimes you actually have to play the game so there's really so much variables that come into it um but as long as you get subbed in at one point in the next game after you've done that level two contract that's fine so you see me there i just chuck up a shot and then we're gonna go ask the sim out with vc and then it's gonna be sweet from there so thankfully i got into the first game um back from it so i got into the warriors game sometimes i don't guys that happens okay so just be wary of that so once you're there you're gonna notice that there's gonna be an endorsement highlighted 
Uh, so as you see there, my endorsements there. So it's probably uh, like a meet and greet at Full Locker or something like that. But you you are getting five thousand per event. So. Once you're there, you're gonna wanna head to the neighborhood first, okay, before you do anything. So you're gonna let this load, blah, blah, blah. Guys, don't forget, make sure, hit me up on the socials, okay? Instagram, Twitter, make sure you go follow me there. Um, if you have any questions, make sure you just hit me up there. Now, once you're here, guys, uh, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna go endorsements, and then you, I'm just gonna show you it's there. So once you know it's there, you're gonna close application, okay? Close application. So guys, like I said, there's gonna be the PS4 method first, and then I'm gonna show you the Xbox method. So you're gonna go settings, and after you go settings, you're gonna go application, save data management. Application, save data management, guys, okay? That's in the settings. Now, you're gonna go save data in system storage. Save data in system storage is the first one. Then you're gonna go copy to USB storage or upload to online storage. So it depends on which one you prefer, but I'm gonna go with copy to USB storage. You can save it on online, it doesn't really matter, but I'm just gonna do it here. So once you go there, you're gonna save the my career file, which should be like one of the top files. And that's the only one you save, okay? So my career three is the one I'm saving. That's the only one you save, do not save any others, okay? Before it used to be you have to save the first three, now you only save the my career file, okay? That is completely it. Do not like pick user uh, description and user data. I think that's what the name of the other two files are. Just pick the my career file and you should be sweet. But like I said, guys, this is only uh, for USB. If you wanna do it online, you're free to do it online. I just chose the USB because some people don't have online. But if you're doing online, it's the exact same thing. You just, instead of can copy to USB, you do upload to online storage and then you just click the my career file. So there's really nothing different with the two. Um, it's pretty much the exact same thing. So once you do that, guys, you're gonna wanna start up 2K again. So once you started that up, basically what has happened is we have saved this file with the endorsement um, on a USB or online. It depends on how you guys choose it. Um, and then once you set it online or on USB, we're basically gonna open it and then reload that like game where or that my career file when I did have the endorsement back into the PS4. So it'll make more sense here. So once we get here, guys, you'll notice that uh, the endorsement's still there, which is completely fine. Um, now we're gonna wanna open it this time around, okay? So the first time we haven't opened it yet, we have not opened it. Now this is the first time we are actually opening it, okay? So you're gonna open it. Uh, then you're gonna let this show, whatever, press circle, and then the three dots will happen, okay? As we all know, those three dots kind of ruined everything. Like, oh, uh, I can't get rid of these three dots. Now, once you're here, guys, um, you're gonna just like let it play out, let it load, whatever. Um, now, once you're here, guys, the second step I'm about to show you is different than the first step, okay? So, this is our checkout, whatever, at uh, the VC management, whatever. Now, you're gonna wanna close application, okay? Now, once you close application, you wanna go settings, and you wanna go application, save data management. So, we're gonna go to the same place, but this step is different. Now, instead of save data on system storage, you're actually gonna go save data on USB storage or save data on online storage, depending on which one you chose, okay? So, you gotta pick the second or the third one. Now, we went USB, so we're gonna go copy to USB storage, and you're gonna go copy to system storage, NBA 2K19, and then you're gonna click the My Career file that you saved on your USB, okay? Then it's gonna ask you wanna override it, you just tick apply to all, and then you click OK. Now, basically, we have just reloaded the game back in, so now we're gonna go back into NBA 2K19, and then you're gonna do it again. So, that second step that I just showed you is the one that you're gonna be doing, you know, constantly, that you're gonna be doing two times, three times in order to have the VC glitch um, work, okay? So that first part that I showed you like a while back, that first part you only do at the start, okay? It's because you just need to save the file, and then the second part is basically putting the file back onto the PS4, okay? Um, so yeah, that's pretty much to that. So I'm gonna show you one more time just to be safe. So this is my second time opening, guys. So I, I'm trying to make it as realistic as possible. So right now we have $5,000. Now we're gonna do it the second time, so it's gonna give us $10,000. So you see me open it. All right, we're gonna open it. Um, and then, so this is my second time opening it. Like I said, you gotta wait for the three dots. Um, but yeah, just don't close it yet until it says, uh, check out with, uh, oh no, sorry, check out with me. Like go to the agent's office or something like that, where it talks about going to the management's office, VC management, whatever it's called. Yeah. That one, go to your, uh, agent's office. So, um, once that like screen or that pop-up happens, then you close the application. Um, uh, I decided to slow it because I was going to think of speeding by it, but then yeah, I might as well just show you again. So application save data management guys. And then you're going to go save data on USB storage then copy to system storage, NBA 2K19, and then my career three, 
and then you're gonna want to copy it okay so guys um, I've done this show so many times and then applied it all over right so that's uh, the reason why I slow mode it is because I did it like really really quick guys once you do this so many times you just become like it's like second nature to you you know what I mean like you'll just think of it straight away so sorry about that but yeah that I just did the slow mo for this because I was thinking of speeding by it but I thought might as well just show you again one more time so as you guys see I did it the second time and then um, yeah so I did it the second time that's completely fine then you're gonna go um, and then do it a third time as well okay now once you're here guys um, there really isn't any much to it now uh, when, when you do it the third time guys you want to at least do that second part that I showed you three times okay so technically you'll open up the PS like you'll open up 2k the fourth time or whatever but I'm trying not to confuse you as much as I can but yeah you just sort of want to do it three times do that second step three times okay um, now when it comes to this guys just make sure that you uh, make sure you choose the right files of course that's first of all and then secondly guys make sure you only save the my career file okay before it used to work where you use user data and save descriptions now it doesn't work like that anymore um, that just happens it just happens from time to time like they're just trying to patch it but we, we just keep trying to find ways around it so like I said guys close application um, and then you're gonna want to go settings and then do all that good stuff so I'm just gonna show you one more time just in case it doesn't get too confusing because I thought I'd make it as live as possible and you know just show you each step by step so application save data USB storage um, copy the system storage and then NBA 2k19 my career copy bang all right simple guys then you just open up 2k19 again so that's like the third time opening up so you're gonna see me um, I'm gonna load back into the game and then you're gonna see me actually like uh, like pick up the VC now with you guys what you want to do is once you've done it three times you're gonna want to wait 24 hours and then do it three times again that second step okay that second step three times because what's gonna happen is you're gonna go from 15,000 to 30,000 the next day and then 45,000 the next day and then 65 or whatever you're gonna keep going up by 15k per day okay but you need to wait uh, you know 24 hours in order the glitch to works and maxes out at 15k I'm sorry that just happened, but it maxes out of 15k and then you just have to wait 24 hours from the moment you did it uh, to redo the glitch and then so you don't have to make another my plan. You just add on to this. So do not uh, check out your like your VC just yet. Do not check it out in the first day. Give it a couple of days. Keep doing the glitch like day by day and then check it out so you can get like a huge sum of like 20,000, 50,000, whatever. How much how much VC you want, okay? But I'm going to just check it out just to show you that this VC glitch is actually working. But you guys do it differently where um, you don't. So as you see me here, guys, I have 95,000 VC. Yes, guys, I've been doing this glitch a lot, okay? So um, yeah, I got 95,000 VC. So you're going to want to go dismiss um, and then you're going to head in. So like I said, guys, do not check it out the first day. Give it like a couple of days. Um, but I'm just checking it out just to show you that this VC glitch actually works. Um, but yeah, uh, so you can see me here. I'm going to pick up the check and then you're going to see that it's going to say 15,000. Okay. So 15,000. Okay. So if we're on 95,000, we'd be at around 110,000 VC right now. So you're going to see me go back into like my bank or whatever you call it, how much VC I have. And then you're going to notice that it's, uh, it's the, it's like 110 roughly. So we're going to go here allocation. You can see that 111,000 is because we got a bit more because we had the two 500s. But yeah, guys, that's basically the glitch for PS4. I'm going to show you how to do it on Xbox now. All right, guys, so this next clip I'm going to show you is now an Xbox. So um, it's going to be really, really quick. It's roughly the same thing. Um, but quick shout out to West Dot. I actually did use some of these screenshots because I do not have an Xbox myself. So thank you, West Dot, for this. I hope you do not mind. So guys, make sure you go check out West Dot. His link is in the description. If you want to see the full video, but I'll just show you screenshots on how to do it, but it's basically the same thing. All right. So when you're on Xbox, you're going to want to open the, the, the endorsement and then it's going to say your check is now available at your agent's office. Okay. So once you're there, so guys do the same thing. And then once you get your endorsement, you're just going to want to open it straight away. Now, once you get here, you're going to want to open up your homepage, whatever, and you're going to want to click on NBA 2K19. Okay. So this mini sidebar, whatever, open that up on Xbox. I don't know how to open that up. I think you hold the middle button. Uh, I don't have an Xbox myself guys. So I'm just trying my best for it. So you're going to want to open it and then you're going to click NBA 2K19. Then you're going to click manage game and add-ons. Okay. Manage game and add-ons. Okay. Um, now with this step, like I said, 
once you just get the endorsement guys you just start straight away so you open it straight away you don't need to do any of this like first step second step this is all in one step for xbox okay for xbox so you're gonna get here manage game and add-ons you're gonna be sweet with that you're gonna want to click a yeah a yeah a on that then you're gonna get like you're gonna like this screen is basically gonna pop up now you're gonna want to go down to save data okay as you see it so it says installed ready to install updates and save data you're gonna want to uh, scroll all the way down to save data okay um, so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna delete a file but you do not delete it everywhere so I'm gonna show you what I mean so you're gonna go save data like I said now you're gonna say now you're gonna basically pick or highlight the file um, of your username okay so West dot used his like username fame IP okay that's it that was his username so you're gonna want to go and highlight fame IP okay so it's just depending on what you guys are so fame IP 35.1 megabytes whatever um, you're gonna want to highlight that okay so make sure you pick the actual one the actual account uh, you were actually using for this VC, VC glitch guys so please do not get that mixed up so this next part I'm about to show you guys is very very crucial please do not stuff this up okay you're gonna want to click it and you want to go delete from console okay delete from console do not do delete from everywhere because if you delete from everywhere you will erase your whole my career player okay and I don't want that for anyone so guys make sure you please do it right please do not like make sure you're careful with this because if you accidentally do delete everywhere everything is gone okay i'm talking your my players your badges your vc everything is gone so make sure you only do delete from console okay i i can't stress that enough so make sure you just do it there but besides that guys once you delete from console you're ready to go back you just head back into 2k and you do it again so you do it um you do that same step over and over and over again but same with uh, Xbox, like it's like in PS4, you do cap off at 15,000 um, and you got to do it every 24 hours. But besides that, guys, that is basically the glitch. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Hope it helped you guys out. And, yeah, let me know in the comments or, you know, send me a message on Instagram. Send me a message on Twitter, whether it worked, whether it didn't. And just give me your advice on, like, you know, if you need any help or anything like that. So, quick shout out to Raymond Cordona, Jakari Thomas, Chief the Gamer 674 xxx clouded skies xx savvy gifted rito mariscal tempe Kuzi, laugh bro goat and nick demarco for commenting my last video thank you guys so much i appreciate you all all right guys like i always say if you're a new gamer like me and you love nba 2k19 this is a channel for you i release daily tips and tricks to just entertaining videos in general so in the world you can subscribe to the channel hit that red button down below or you guys can click on tp it's right here or if you want you can watch the latest videos right here in the square box it's kind of a banger all right Guys, thank you so much again. Um, we're so close to 9K subscribers, so thank you so much uh, for everything. Guys, I'm super, super sick, so I'm probably gonna go sleep after this. But thank you guys. Make sure you follow me on socials. Hit me up. I'd love to hear from you. But besides that, have a great rest of the week. I'll probably see you tomorrow. And bye, guys.